Before we get into the video, don't forget to check out my second channel, Fantasia Plays. I play Sims over there too, and I would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to another Sims 4 discussion video. So, I wanted to talk about a whole bunch of different things, actually. I want to talk about better babies. I want to talk about generations. I want to talk about a hotels pack, a school pack, like, and farming. I want to talk about so many different things today and just chat. So, I, I guess this is going to be more like podcast style, um, which I really enjoy. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this and just kind of like listening to my thoughts. So, the first thing, better babies. Do you guys think they're still coming do you still have hope for that i am still dying for better babies every single time they do like a maxis stream and they do like i don't know they say like a free update's coming or something i'm just like oh my gosh is it better babies this time and it never is and i'm starting to feel like when the heck are they giving us better babies we better get better babies this year or else i'm gonna go crazy i'm being dramatic but like seriously <laughs> Next up, the honestly, I feel like the next thing I'm going to talk about is kind of tying into better babies. So generations. So I have this gut feeling that generations is going to come in the summertime. We usually get expansion packs in the summer and I just feel feel like that's gonna happen or it could come in the winter so we usually get one like around Christmas time and the summertime so I would I would prefer it to be an expansion pack in the summertime we are due for one in the summer we're getting a game pack which is what I thought was gonna come first um, and then we should be getting an expansion pack a little bit later and I really hope it's generations you guys and if it's not what do you think it's gonna be my only other thing that I feel like it could be would be farming which I wouldn't be mad at either but if we get generations that's when I truly think we're gonna get better babies do you guys think the same thing comment down below um, I'm curious I feel like I've talked about this before but I just wanted to do a whole video talking about pretty much all the things that I really am hoping for and kind of like talk about uh, like if I feel like they're gonna come when I feel like they're gonna come how I'm feeling if I still want them if like blah 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 I just want to talk about it all so generations is like my top thing that I want that hasn't changed it's been like that for so long like my favorite packs are pretty much like all the time they're like okay I guess this is not true I was gonna say they're like always seasons and generations but not necessarily I feel like in the sims 2 days like I love bon voyage I love free time you know like there's other packs that I've loved so much so yeah I guess there's other things that I usually like I also always really love the pets expansion packs I still love cats and dogs in the sims 4 I just kind of wish it was, it was pets and not cats and dogs but nonetheless I I do love the way the cats and dogs turned out. Generations top of my list along with better babies hoping hoping that the better babies come in the update. If it doesn't, I don't understand that. What are they thinking? <laughs> so there's my thoughts on that. And next up, I want to talk about farming situations. So there of course was like a fake leak a while ago. We all thought we were getting farming and then it ended up not being the case and everyone was really let down. And honestly, me too. And I feel like it sucks because that leak seemed so real because we had already had a leak like that before for another pack and it was real so everyone just thought it was the same situ situation but apparently it was photoshopped so someone was just really good with the photoshop skills it looked super real because otherwise like if it wasn't photoshopped it would have been real because it was like the the code number for the pack or whatever on the little what is it like the little target things or was it walmart i don't know where like an employee like showed their little thing it happened before i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> and it was real which made sense and it would have been real if someone wasn't so good at Photoshop. It would have it would have been real once again and we would have had our farming. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I do still really want farming. However, I will say ever since getting the cow mod, the dairy cow mod, and then there was an update to the chicken coops. And then also Arnie, you guys know Arnie. He makes the open world mods, the Sims Plus, you, you know him. Well, he is making a farming mod and it's like another like open world type of thing and it's gonna be like a whole farming world all of these things adding up are making me like not think about farming as much like obviously i would still love that and obviously it would be a lot different to actually have a real farming pack compared to mods however the mods we're getting that are farming related are very well done to the point where for example the dairy cow mod literally seems like cows that would be in the game now i'm assuming if we got cows in the game i don't really know to be honest i was going to say that they'd be able 
able to walk around everywhere and have a few more like interactions, but possibly not. It depends. It really depends on how they do it because if we got a farming pack, so I've been thinking about this a lot, like how would they do a farming pack? Would they really? Because we've never gotten that. We had horses, but that came with pets in The Sims 3. We've never had a full out farming pack where there's like cows, chickens, horses, uh, pigs, like, uh, goats, all these different farm animals, animals. We've never had that before. So I'm just like, would they have them be able to roam around everywhere? Would we be able to have them as an actual pet? Like, how would they do it? I would assume they wouldn't be able to be actual pets. I would be assuming that it would kind of work like the Dairy Cow mod where, well, with the Dairy Cow mod, you purchase it and build and buy. Maybe you wouldn't do that. Maybe you'd have to like adopt them. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm assuming it wouldn't show up in the household. That's just what I'm thinking anyways. It could work kind of like a fish does in The Sims 4, but like obviously better than that, you know, like a lot more to it. Um, but I'm wondering like maybe they would be stuck to one little area, like they'd have their little plot of land and they would just stay there and walk around in that area. If that's the case, I'm not dying for it anymore. Like, I mean, I was never dying for it the way I am for like generations, but like I did really want it. And like, I do still want to see that, but just because of these mods, it's just, I don't know. I don't really think about it anymore. So that's been kind of interesting. And and I would still love to see like a whole farming world because honestly, the world that came with cats and dogs is just, it's like a little bit farming vibes. And when you look in the background, you can see like fake cows and stuff, but I don't know. It's not like a fleshed out country farming world the way I'm thinking of, but yeah. So what do you guys think? If you have mods, the, the dairy cow mod, the chicken coop mod, all of that, you know, and if you're keeping up with Arnie's uh, farming world, are you guys kind of like not in the need for a farming pack anymore? Or do you still really, really want one? Now, I do really want like horses that are very in depth. And I know we have horses that are actually, there's a mod where it's like actually just a dog, <laughs> but it's made to look like a horse. And that's just not cutting it for me. Like I want actual horses the way they were in The Sims 3. Like they were awesome. They were beautiful. There was, oh, it was so cute. Like when a horse was born, oh, they were so cute and small. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I remember that. Oh, so cute. I remember I had a family that had some horses and it was just the cutest. I loved it. They had a barn in the back and it was just a vibe. It was a whole different way of playing with horses. I don't know something about it. I really liked that. So I would still love to see horses. Like I can't lie. I would still really like a farming pack, but it's just not something I think about a lot anymore. So moving on now, I really want to talk about a schooling pack. We've had like surveys that talked about a whole school pack and that's why a lot of people think we're going to eventually get it. I've seen a lot of people say that and I kind of feel like we will too, but I haven't seen any hints for it and I just don't know. I would love, so we're getting a game pack soon and I would love if instead of like another occult pack, they would do something like schooling. I just think I would have so much more fun with that. I really hope they do still go through with that from that survey. I think that'd be so fun if we could, because we've never had that before where we could actually go to school with our kids and teens and we've had it with mods and things like that. And of course we've gotten to experience going to university with our Sims, but I want to go to like a high school and elementary, elementary school and like in that sense, they could also put in schooling for the toddlers. That could be an opportunity to do that. And we could go do preschool with them. And like, I think it, I just think it would be so cute. And I don't know. I would love it. So in The Sims 4, Discover University, when they go to classes, they just disappear. And, you know, so we didn't really get to experience the in-class type of thing with The Sims 4. However, in The Sims 3 University, if you've never played that before, there was certain classes where you could go in with them and there was desks and your Sims would have to sit down and they'd have to pay attention or you could, there was different options you could do. You could have them like sleep in class. You could have them take notes. You could have them raise their hand and the teacher would actually like, you know, 
call on them to answer. And like there would be a teacher actually there teaching. It was so cool. And I feel like that's kind of what they would do if we got a schooling pack. I would love if there's like an actual like in-class experience, different things you could do, different things you could have your sim do. And don't have the class be too long where you're like bored, but of course it would be a, sc a full school day. So I feel like they could have like each class be kind of different. And there could even be like a cooking class and your sims would have to do the cooking and learn and stuff like that. And it'd be cool if they like allowed, or actually they could get the little ovens, you know, those little ovens that we had in the Sims 3 that the kids could actually use. I think they could put that in the school pack and have the kids be starting to learn to cook and make little pizzas and stuff like that. And then like art class and you know, you can have them draw and things like that. Maybe there's something that your kid needs to draw and you know, you sign it in at the end and they see how they've done and blah, blah, blah. I think that would make it a such more fun experience if there's like different things you have to do in each class. And like gym class, PE, oh my God. Like that'd be so fun and they could put in different gym activities and you'll have to actually tell your sim to do them. Maybe they'll do them really well. Maybe they'll do them really poorly. And then of course lunch, it would be great if there was a cafeteria and you had to go up and get your food or maybe you bring a lunch and you could sit down at the table with your friends. I think that would be so cool. Like if they make a schooling pack, it has to be like that or there's like no point. <laughs> if they actually make it like a full school day experience with different things going on, I think it could be so much fun. It could also be really cool if you could like skip class with your friends. I think that would be fun. Like just, you know, putting that drama in there. So, uh, the more I talk about this, the more I get excited. I would really, really love to see that. Not going to lie. I'm like a family player, but I also really like the drama. Like I have a modded let's play that's full of drama, but now it's also starting to be like, it's full of drama. Plus it has family starting because the girls are getting older and they're starting to have relationships and babies and all of that. So it's like both now. And I love that. Like I love a mix of drama and family gameplay and also I like just playing life like realistic life things even if I'm not doing family gameplay even if it's just drama 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 you know sims getting into trouble whatever they're doing as long as it's like realistic life stuff, I love it so much. So that's why I feel like I would love a schooling pack. So comment down below what you think about that. Do you want that? I would love if that was the next game pack, but it's definitely not. Definitely not. I mean, if it was, I'd be completely shocked. Shocked completely. You know, I kind of want to be shocked. I'm not going to lie. If, if the next game pack is seriously fairies or werewolves or some sort of occult sim, it's just gonna be like, yep, knew it. <laughs> I would love to be surprised and be like, oh my God, what? I was not expecting that. That would be so cool. I just, I miss like getting super surprised with Sims packs. But anyways, moving on to the hotels. Hotels and resorts, you guys. A lot of us have been wanting this for a long time ever since Island of Living came out and it didn't have hotels or resorts. And so many of us wanted to cry. Oh my gosh. I, that was like one of the things I was hoping for the most with an island pack. And of course we would just expect it to come with that because that's how it was in The Sims 3. And in my brain, if you're going to come out with like an island, like just tropical pack, you just think there's going to be resorts and hotels like duh, right? But they went on a different route where it's like, you know, fixing up the island and stuff like that. And that, I mean, that's nice and all, but it just doesn't feel right. And to me, the way Sulani looks, to me, it does look like a vacation world. Like that's what I use it for. To me, it should have resorts there. And just the way it is, I don't know. I don't get that to this day. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but I want to see a hotel and resorts pack, whether it's an expansion or a game pack. I don't really know what they would do. They could definitely fit that into a game pack uh, because they could make it where you can just run or stay at resorts and hotels in every world. That could definitely be in a game pack. There doesn't need to be a separate world for it. I don't, I don't think that makes any sense at this point because we already have all these worlds where we could put vacation areas and yes, we have vacation homes that we can put in any world now, but the thing is you just have a vacation home and it's kind of just like living in a house, except you just pay the vacation price, but it's literally like living in a house literally. <laughs> so I, I feel like having hotels and resorts would add a whole different thing. Like it's a whole different experience. Like think about it in real life. When you stay at a hotel, it's nothing like staying in a vacation home where like you're renting it out and you're just living in it. You're just living in it as if it's your own house, you know, but you're somewhere else. <laughs> 
So I feel like they could do the whole resort experience. You know, they could have pools that need to be cleaned and you need to put chlorine in them. And then if you're running the resort, you need to have a buffet and you need to make sure it's clean. You need to have good staff. You need to have room service. Uh, people need to go clean the rooms. You, you know, you need to rent out a room if you're staying there. Um, there are like certain activities that, you know, a swim up bar inside the pool. There's just all these things that they can do with it. There's so much they can do. And it doesn't need to just be tropical resorts. Like there's resorts everywhere. Like, you know, it could be like so many different kinds that you can have. And I think that'd be so cool. And it would be really nice to see them like go all out with it. I would love to see that. I want more ways for my Sims to vacation where it actually feels like a vacation. I don't know what it is about the Sims 4, but a lot of times the whole vacation things that they put in the game don't feel like vacations. Is that just me? Comment down below, you guys. I have to use my imagination to the fullest to feel like I'm having a real vacation with my Sims. Like, I don't know what it is. Camping doesn't feel like a vacation. I don't know. Jungle adventure doesn't feel like a vacation. Nothing feels like a vacation. Nothing has that like luxury vacation relaxing. Well, it doesn't need to be luxury, but you know, it just, nothing has that vibe. I don't know. Like I, I always have to like use my imagination so much with Sulani, um, to get it to like really feel like they're on a vacation. But even then, like, it's really easy to feel like your Sims are not on vacation. Like, you have to really imagine it. So, yeah, that can kind of suck. But what do you guys think? Comment down below. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. So, before we wrap up this video, we're going to go ahead and do our notification shout out. So, this one goes to Pauline. And, oh my gosh, me too. Guys, this was the perfect comment to put in this video because I was literally just talking about that. And strollers. I want strollers more than anything. Okay, not more than anything, but, like, I really want strollers. <laughs> Like, I want to be able to go and take my baby and toddler around. I want the babies unattached from the crib and being able to put them in a stroller and take them to the park. How adorable. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Thank you so much for your comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shadow, all you gotta do is comment down below. So you guys go ahead and comment down below your thoughts. And I'm going to wrap this up here. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day, and don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Honestly, I'm open wide. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side. I still see your silhouette. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to your bedroom?